Hey guys, thought I'd do a little video in following up to the uh, testing video we did a while ago. So uh, our manifold charger is a basic, the basic old 475, 171702, 132 ungated housing. The only thing we did different is I did stick a, uh, this is a cat cover. This would be like off of a, uh, was it a 177, 148? That would be the uh, cover that would be on that cat turbo. As you can see here, I, I don't know whether I didn't tighten it or I didn't ever put the nut on there, but uh, yeah, thankfully we didn't hurt anything. Uh, we were running, I think, as much as 63 pounds of back pressure in uh, 60... Uh, what I see 65 66 pounds of boost total but anyway the, the low pressure turbo just an old uh, HC 5a this is a, uh, a 3.6 or 91.3.6 inches or 91 and a half millimeter uh, compressor wheel it is meant to be a low pressure turbo so it's it's kind of well suited this is a 41 centimeter I think yeah I have a 48 I switched back and forth but that's the 41 the very basic stock manifold so some of you are asking about the engine the engine is actually a 2ws and then uh, sneak over here real quick it's a 2ws with a, a BXS ECU just bungee to it main reason is because that's all I got running right now. My uh, MXS is over there with spun bearings. And I don't know that the MXS and BXS have compatible um, cam and crank sensors. So this might be the only way you can run one of these unless you actually have a BXS. All right, my dyno tank, which is pumping up from the big tank below, is getting close to being full. I can hear it. So I'm going to shut this off and go uh, shut my pump off before I have a big nasty spill in the building. So some of you have seen this before, many have. It's a 10,000 gallon tank, a little uh, Harbor Freight pump. The uh, dyno consumes a great deal of water for both the, the water brake and the cooling of the engine. So we have a big uh, drain that comes down out of the building. That's like eight inch line. I ran out of eight inch and it ends up going all the way down to four, but that, that handles it. And basically just regular water hose, the little pump line that pumps it all the way back up into the building. The uh, tank in the building holds 3,000 gallons. At one time in this pit, I dug this pit to have that 3,000 gallon tank in this pit as an intermediate catch for the hot dyno water to keep it from mixing with the 10,000 gallons. But honestly, it's not really been a problem out here the heat like I thought it would be it's uh it's just not real terribly hot in the summer I mean it's 100 or whatever oh this is kind of interesting I collect water off the roof I actually filled that whole tank with roof water two years ago we had pretty active monsoon not so much this year but there's a big tank on the drain in there and uh so collect all water engine on the dyno runs out of this fuel tank here. We actually run the pump when the engine's running. So uh, when I walk down to turn my water off, see this comes, here's the drain, and then this piece of two inch is what fills the shop tank. Anyway, uh, while I was walking down, I, I remembered a couple questions that I wanted to answer. Mac, Mac charge air cooler. Again, for those of you who have seen a hundred videos of this stuff, one I apologize, but I'm sure there's new people. What I wanted to uh, address was the turbo selection here. So uh, this was, we were doing 20, 26 down to 2100 runs because we're writing a file for drag race slash sled pull. So it's just crazy high RPM, high horsepower stuff. And somebody commented about the turbos. Yes, they're way small for this, but... Uh, my customer is running stock Acerts compounds, and I wasn't going to put that 
back on here, but I figured a, a 132 uh, 17-1702 turbine section would probably flow pretty close to what a uh, GT42 with the gate wastegate open. So that was kind of a attempt to duplicate that. Yes, this 75 millimeter compressor will flow more air than a little Acer high pressure will, but that, yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, the uh, 3.6 that I used on here is pretty close to the 88 millimeter on the Acer. It's a little more, but all in all, I think it's a pretty good comparison. I would bet that with uh, this customer, if he lives down near sea level with a search, he's going to have almost the exact same performance as what this file made at my 4,300 feet in altitude. So if I was really trying to make big power, um, this would at least be a four inch. And we've done we've done all these tests before. Um, it just I, that's not what this one was about. This is basically just throwing something interesting up for that guy's uh, file I was writing. Uh, this will be a 48. I've tested 48s, 41s. I've tested 3, 6, 4 ones, HX80, I've t uh, 82. I've tested all kinds of turbos on these uh, compound setups. I've tested um, 63 millimeter. 75 millimeter, 78 millimeter. I don't know if I've ever tested an 80 and I've never tested anything smaller than a 132 housing. Um, that to me, that's kinda, because it's not gated, that could be a bottleneck for back pressure. So anyway, I'm gonna stop now. I just wanted to address why I picked the size of, th this was not like I picked these because I was looking to make a big number. I just picked these to duplicate what uh, the customer's engine I was writing a file for. So this is all going to come off, and I'm going to put some kind of a single on here. More than likely, it's going to be a, a Garrett GT50, and that'll be a uh, 80, 81 millimeter compressor, and a I think it's a 110 divided housing, and I'll probably stick the full tilt on there just because, and I won't change any of the feeling. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how this reacts to nothing but a turbo manifold change. Uh, if you want to comment, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to make less power with a single 80, 81 millimeter? Think it's going to make more? What do you think? And I'll tell you my, uh, my uh, prediction, like maybe halfway through your comments, I'll comment with my prediction. All right, I'll take care. Stock gaskets and sleeves. You can tell. There's some heat in there. All the carbon turned tan. So many questions. What could it have done without the sleeves? What could it have done with a stock manifold? We'll never know.